So we went back to the wind farm. Unlike last time, the conditions weren't ideal. The swell was up about a metre and the current was blasting through open water about 1.6 knot and then right beside the tower concentrating to three or four times that. I should point out, having received the two messages, that this is not a location for inexperienced divers or boaties. There's big swell, there's big tides, there's big currents and there's big boats. If you don't know what you're doing, think twice. You can see here in this strong current, after climbing along the bottom, as soon as I let go, I was pushed backwards faster than I could surface. So let's dive. Obviously with all the swell and the current, I was not feeling quite as relaxed as usual. So here you can see I'm looking around a little bit more and still managed to wait enough to get a decent sized bass, about 50 centimeters this time, and quickly shoot it through the head. Then I dropped down again another time, and this time it was a little bit smoother, I was a little bit more relaxed and controlled, and you can see when you do that, they come in more in front of you, a bit closer to you, a bit closer to the gun, and make it a much easier shot. Uh, it turns out that this time a lot of the bass were just a bit smaller anyway. There weren't any really big monsters. After bringing that one up, I went for a little hunt for green and just one small contraction booked everything away in a split second. Zach's dives were a little bit similar, so he was going down. Again, he was having a little look around and he was also able to get two decent sized bass. This next dive is brilliant because it's so aggressive, it's, you know, get down there, the bass comes up, right in front of the gun, boom, no messing around, perfect shot, and that's another one for him to have to dinner. Uh, we had to call it early, the current was really, really ripping. Now, mate, it's worse than the first time you came here. Yeah, oh, mate, it's ripping. It's not. Uh, I think you just call it. You have to call it. Yeah. Getting a little bit. Mate, we've had a good day, guys. We've had a good day. I'm down. So when I got back, I wanted to quickly make some pasta. So I made some bass pasta. Obviously, I had to spend some time filleting up the bass, and then basically just making a sauce with butter and garlic and red onion and the, uh, the flavour of the bass and some white wine and then some gluten free pasta and basically chunks of bass shallow fried uh, and it is quite delicious and pretty quick to make and it uses everything of a bass because you can actually you use a frame in it and there's quite a lot of meat in between the bones you leave behind after you fill it in.